Kol Halayim La Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Hurkakodash. That's all praises to the Heavenly Father through the name of the Only Begotten Son. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Shalom to all you Akim <clears throat> and you Akwa, those of the whole elect that are seeking for salvation. Just want to go into the state of uh, the job market, which pretty much ties back to the economy. When there's a slow job market or a slow opportunities for, you know, positions to be filled within companies, it represents a a bad or failing economy because we all know when economy is doing well there's a lot of job opportunities and uh, there's been a lot of layoffs going on lately and i believe it's is uh, reaching the high numbers maybe the breaking numbers and i've got some articles here um, mostly from cnn business it says walgreens is closing 450 locations walgreens expected to close 150 locations in the united states and 300 locations in the United Kingdom. All right. CNN Business again. This is a, a title says Stephen A. Smith speaks out about ESPN's layoffs. I could be next. Says uh, ESPN Stephen A. Smith is wondering if he too might soon be out of a job. Smith host of Network's sport, sports debate show First Take saw several of his high-profile colleagues, including, including Jalen Rose, Jeff Van Gundy, and Keyshawn Johnson laid off last week. This ain't the end. More is coming. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I could be next, Smith said on his show Monday, acknowledging a difficult time for the media industry. And remember, Stephen A. Smith signed a major contract a couple of years ago. And I'm going to jump down here. It says ESPN owner Disney had announced in February that it would lay off 7,000 people across its businesses. Smith noted so ESPN employees were aware that cuts were likely coming. But a person familiar with the staff reductions at the sports network told CNN that ESPN's layoffs were unconnected with Disney's uh, larger layoff plans. AI is artificial intelligence is already linked to layoffs in the industry that created it. Many have raised alarms about the potential for artificial intelligence, AI, to displace jobs in the years ahead. But it's already causing upheaval in one industry where workers once seemed invincible. Tech. A small but growing number of tech firms have cited AI is as a reason for laying off workers and rethinking new hires in recent months as Silicon Valley races to adapt to rapid advances in the technology being developed in its own backyard. Chegg, an education technology company, disclosed in a regulatory filing last month that it was cutting 4% of its workforce or about 80 employees. Okay, to better position the company to execute against its AI tech uh, strategy and create long-term sustainable value for its students and investors. AI is cutting jobs and, you know, robots will be replacing, uh, as we see self-checkout, uh, McDonald's using robots uh, and self-checkout as well. Robots to make, you know, burgers in certain parts of, the, uh, of America. All right, so... A lot of these people are losing jobs on all levels. OK, and the last one. This is nearly this is Forbes magazine, nearly one hundred and ninety four thousand laid off in twenty twenty three. So far as U.S. layoffs surge, nearly one hundred ninety four thousand U.S. employees lost their jobs in more than one hundred and fifty major layoffs so far in twenty twenty three. According to Forbes layoff tracker, which counts layoffs affecting more than 100 positions so they don't even count the positions of um layoffs that were less than 100, 100 positions so it could be it's definitely more it says as a wave of job cuts spanning tech banks media and manufacturing continues in the new year as employers fear a recession could be around the corner 
All right. Tech companies face the burn the brunt of major layoffs in 2023. Google parent Alphabet, which let go of 12,000 employees in January. More than 74,000 employees lost their jobs in major layoffs in the month of January alone, including Salesforce, which laid off 7,900 jobs. Goldman Sachs, 3,200. IBM, 3,900. Amazon uh, unveiled plans late last year to cut 18,000 positions. Microsoft announced a round of cuts in January, affecting 10,000 employees. Manufacturing giant 3M also underwent multiple rounds of layoffs, cutting 2,500 positions. Okay. In January, before the Scotch tape and Post-it Notes maker slashed another 6,000 jobs in April. Other companies, Morgan Stanley, which slashed 3,000 positions. Davis Bridal, people ain't getting married no more. That jagged edge spirit is out the way. It says, which cut more than 9,200. Dell, which is a computer company, 6,650. And Disney, 7,000, as we went in earlier. All right. <clears throat> so hey, there you have it. Second Ezra 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. The Lord is slashing job positions at every level. You have college graduates who are graduating miserable, owing all of this debt from going to college, which is a waste of time, focusing on a specific industry or major, such as, for example, computer science, you know, um, technology, just to only realize that their job is being replaced by AI or <clears throat> there's no job opportunities in that particular field. So people are miserable. This is a uh, we live in a day and time where a lot of people are uh, staying home with their parents. They're not able to move out. You got people moving back in with their parents and they're in their 40s, you know. So great miseries are happening. People are trying to figure out how they're going to make ends meet. People are working two, three jobs, 80 hours a week. All right. Because these are the times you're in the latter time of this wicked rulership. And the Lord is, is putting hell on everyone across the board, man. OK, on all levels from white collar, blue collar, rich, poor, you name it. OK, because of their great pride. Now, when you read Ecclesiastes 12 and 3, it says. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the small slacker and the strong men shall bow themselves. And those keepers represents the watchers like the economists. OK, who are watching the economy and reporting back to the elites. They are seeing the numbers, the trend, the downturn of the trend, OK, of how uh, bad the economy is looking. And the job industry, job market, you know, the indicators with the job market is an important variable which applies to a failing economy. So they see the down spiral of the job market and they're trembling. Right. It says and the grinders uh, cease the work. The working is going to come to a complete halt. You know, right now is uh, people are uh, companies are closing. People are laying off trying to sustain, you know, and weather the storm. It says because they are few. OK, so these are fewer jobs. Uh, openings are available. Right. You got thousands of people applying for one or two open positions, you know, and people are willing to take a pay cut. Just to make ends meet. It says, and those that look out the windows be darkened. Verse four says, and the doors shall be shut in the streets. These companies are going to be shut, boarded up. You know, um, that open sign, the open light is going to be turned off. Right. The doors are going to be, the locks are going to be changed. Okay. And, and this is going to be a, a, a trend that's going to continue to increase amongst America and other parts of the earth. It says, when the sound of the grinding is low, the work, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, right? Rise up to the voice of the bird, waking up early in the morning, hearing those birds chirp with no job to go to. It says, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. And we see the, the, the down spiral of music, okay, and the uh, quality of music continuing to decline over the decades. So we're in the time of mumble rap, drill music, you know, um, low vibration music. 
All right. So these are the signs of the times of the Lord bringing hell on this place. Now, of course, we're catching hell. We're going through our, our, our ups and downs in this society. But we have the greatest, most precious thing that one could have, man. And Lord willing, the Lord continues to show mercy and favor to us. Uh, speaking of the hopeful elect, the believers, us believers, man. All right. Isaiah 33 and 6 says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is going to keep us level-headed. Because look, we're all going to, at some point in time, not be able to work. And that's perfectly fine because it's coming to a point we're going to have to draw the line. But the Lord said, you're going to have a hopeful elect, that remnant that's going to no more put that trust in him that smote them. And we're going to put our trust in it, which we're doing now, putting our trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So these times we understand this is prophecy. This is what keeps us stable. In fact, we're looking forward to this uh, place collapsing, you know, and this man ushering the MOTB. While the rest of the world is nervous, anxious, scared, miserable, losing their minds, unstable. Right. Isaiah 33 and 6 says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Fearing Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is the most important trait to have, man, including fear, uh, uh, it's like a, uh, humility, a meek and contrite spirit, charity. All these things are very important. And fear, as we see, is treasurable, something you hold dear, fearing Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh So we're living in some precious times, and the Lord is going to provide for us uh, as we see that um, the, the squeeze is getting tighter, okay, on this place. Okay, while these people are, you know, uh, they have no clue what to do, right? Proverbs 22 and 3 says, A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. So we've been seeing what's going on. You know, we, the Lord made us privy, woke us up, and we've been studying and watching the things that are happening, measuring the times. And we see the vision of things to come for this place. And this place is not going to carry on too long. We see the evil is here. We see the evils as a snowball effect of increase. And we hide ourselves in this truth, in this word. This is the only protection. This is the refuge that we run to. Just like we had a refuge in ancient times. It's in the law. We had a place of refuge for protection. The Lord gave us a place of refuge in these times. And that's his word. All right. That wise man sees that. Okay. Sees the evil coming and he's hauling ass, getting his house in order hiding in this truth, in this word. But the simple pass on and are punished. Yeah, 4th of July, uh, you know, was a which is another heathen custom that we're not supposed to be involved in. The celebration of uh, the independence of <clears throat> America, uh, winning this independence or whatever from Great Britain. We were slaves, all right? We're not supposed to be, scripture say, learn not the ways of the heathen. But what was our people doing? Outside popping firecrackers. You know, uh, cooking on a grill. Now, is there anything wrong with cooking on a grill? No, you don't do it in the name of a heathen custom. So this is the mindset of the majority of our people. And what's going to happen? They're going to die. At least they repent. So we're living in some great uh, times, man. Scary, but great times. As we encourage our people, we say, Acts 3 and 19, repent ye therefore and be converted. Uh, did not um, John the Baptist and Yahweh Shai also say, repent for the kingdom is um, at, at hand The kingdom is nigh So we're at the doors of the return Of Yahweh Shai and the angels Alright Which Yahweh Shai is going to uh, usher in And establish the everlasting kingdom very soon And all of Israel Would not be saved on this side Only the elect Those that believe And those that are hiding themselves So we continue to warn our people To ask for forgiveness Acknowledge their sins You know And change We have to change And you know, rehearse the righteous acts, call on the true names, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says that your sins may be blotted out. We right? want our sins marked out, erased. All right? We want to be found blameless when Yahweh Shai comes. It says, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. All right? So that's what we're wanting our people to do because this hey, shit is getting real. This is hitting on all home fronts. Okay, for a lot of people, all right, nearly 
Forbes magazine, breaking news, nearly 194,000 laid off in 2023. So far as U.S. layoffs surge and it will only increase from here. We're only, what, seven months, just made seven months in of this so-called new year. More to come. So we got to stay prayed up, stay locked in. America is done. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.